Hi, I'm Z. I'm a researcher at the Centre for Our Research Australia. So Z, what, what is or was your motivation to do research in this area? I really wanted to do research because as an optometrist, having seen the impact of macular degeneration on um, people's lives, I would really want to see a world where the impact of this condition is so reduced or even eliminated if possible. So the title of my project um, is Novel Prognostic Imaging Biomarkers for Improving Risk Stratification in the Early Stages of Age-Related Macular Degeneration. Uh, or in other words, trying to use new imaging to help us find people at high risk of progression in age-related macular degeneration. As an optometrist, um, I've seen many people walk in the door with these early signs of macular degeneration. Um, and what we've learned over these years is that new technologies can really help um, transform how we manage these people with these early signs, um, such as detecting the disease early before we even see them on using traditional methods, or even helping us try and tease out um, who's at perhaps greater risk or a, a lesser risk of progressing towards a, um, a later stage of the condition. So Z, can you tell us a little bit about the technology? Oh, yeah. So this technology that we're using is called optical coherence tomography. It's a way of visualising the back of the eye three-dimensionally. Uh, and this imaging actually provides us with such rich information that you don't normally see when you have a look inside the eyes. And how we hope to um, really exploit the information available in this uh, imaging technology is by two ways. Um, one, by really scrutinizing and seeing features um, as, as, as clinicians, um, features that seems to be associated with um, the progression of the disease, but also to complement that with um, recent advances in artificial intelligence uh, that really helps um, make full use of this information that the naked eye may not necessarily be able to see. Mm. This research is being undertaken because uh, the one in seven Australians with the early signs of age-related macular degeneration uh, is quite a large group and not um, every one of these one in seven Australians will go on to develop um, vision-threatening complications. But trying to find out who amongst all these people that will go on to progress uh, is, is quite difficult. And that's why this research uh, is really being undertaken to help us identify those people at the highest risk. We, we really hope to have an impact um, on um, improving how we use our limited healthcare resources by making sure that those at highest risk of progression are the people that we really look after carefully um, and we hope that through this work that we do, that we will also expedite the discovery of uh, a specific um, early treatment for this condition. I'm really thankful for the Macular Disease Foundation Australia and the fact that they've gone, um, that they support these research grants so that projects like these can, um, can be undertaken to really have an impact on um, reducing the the experience of vision loss as a result of this condition.